Am I the Ava telling my parents I didn't have a kid? They did. And they need to take care of her, not me. My parents had me 15 female when they were 18 and 19. They always made it so obvious they resented being parents so young. And added to that, they never tried to be good parents. I typically spent most of my time at friends' houses. I don't have extended family to rely on, as they disowned my parents for having me so young. So friends' houses were a positive in my life that made me feel more comfortable than being at home with my parents. My parents never did the typical parent stuff like helping me with homework or showing up to support me at school. I don't think they even attended a parent-teacher conference for me. They ignored a lot of stuff I needed to get signed, and I'd have to get right in their face on the last day to get signatures. My birthday and Christmas have never been a big deal or celebration. They do celebrate their wedding anniversary, but that's a them thing. Then they told me two years ago they were expecting a baby, and it really surprised me. But then it hurt because sometimes they say stuff that made me feel like I don't exist. Like now that they are so excited to have a baby and how they couldn't wait to be parents. A friend of my mother's did remind her of me, but then she and dad said that I was basically the too early practice run and this was the real deal. When my sister was born, they were so attentive to her that I ceased to exist completely. I got sick, and my school was trying to call someone to pick me up early, but they ignored the calls. And when I got home, they had taken the baby out for a family day. When they got home, they hadn't even realized the school called because they turned off their phones to enjoy family time. My mom quit her job a month after my sister was born. She wants to be a stay-at-home mom, and she and dad want at least one more kid. My dad leaves work early on Friday so he can spend more time with the family, mom and sister. My parents tried to have another kid for over a year, and mom isn't pregnant yet. So they're jumping to fertility treatments. They told me I need to watch my sister for a few hours every week while they attend those appointments. And they gave me this detailed list of stuff she needs and what I'm going to do with her. I told them I won't, and that they had her, so they need to take care of her because she's not my kid. My parents told me it's a few hours a week and not a big deal. Dad told me I need to look at it as paying back for all they did for me. I said no and told them they didn't give a crap about me, so why would I want to help them? Am I the A? Now for the top comments. Not the A. Neglecting to pick you up when you're sick and calling your life a practice run is such a horrible thing to get from your parents. And I'm sorry they have neglected you. It is, but I'm used to it. They were showing all that without words for years. Though the practice run part is funny to me because what practice did they get? I can't say that they ever really did much or any parenting. So it's just like, what are you talking about? They didn't make the most of their practice run for people to see me that way. Darling, you shouldn't have to be used to it. There's a thing called normalization, and you've probably heard about it, seeing as the internet's been around for a while now. Back when I was young, we didn't have the net, so it was harder for us to get information. Basically, when we're young, what we're shown is what we see as normal. It doesn't matter what it is. Overspoiled kids become entitled little jerks, and neglected kids see being neglected as normal. That second one's you. It's not normal. They say to pay back all they did for you is laughable. You should tell them, how can I pay you back for a few hours a week what you didn't even give to me? Alternatively, you could say, what you did was the very bare legal minimum, and that's being more than generous. You had to provide certain things for me by law, 
and you barely did that. I have nothing to pay you back for. Big hug, sweetheart, and I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, if they ever realize, it will be long after you have probably worked through the issues they gave you from basically ignoring you most of your life. I have friends in the exact same position as your parents, and I call them out on their crap. I get along with their daughter, who's about 25 now. I became her unofficial uncle and doted on her and had her over with my kids. I invite her over at Christmas, and she usually spends more time at my place than her parents. She pops by there to give presents, stay for an hour, and then leaves. My friends are idiots and think raising their younger children with extra love and attention makes up for the love they fail to give their first. They are able to do the mental gymnastics to make themselves feel better, but haven't bothered to apologize or make amends to their oldest. My parents were crap and didn't think I'd have kids, so had them once I was truly ready. My kids knew I loved them and can ask me for anything, and I always make time for them. You deserve that, and your parents are the reason you didn't get that. They need to own that, but probably won't. So be proud of basically raising yourself emotionally. Tell them you'll do it if they can name your favorite food, favorite color, and best friend. When they can't, tell them you'll be giving their baby exactly as much attention as they have given to you over the years. Give them that wake-up call. They clearly need it, not the A. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.